and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Size Matters with me, the Biscuit Boy, and Mini Ratchet. So we're inside Clank, baby. We actually can't get out on the planet uh, above. Or I would have done the gladiator like section, the mini game section for Clank. I forget how to aim. Oh well. I was gonna like rocket snipe him from up there, but I don't remember how to zoom in. So, like I forget how to do the whole look down the scope thing. Ooh. Oh, I mean to shoot that last one. Wait, the bullet? Oh, rocket! Now there is a platinum. <clears throat> the platinum this one. I. I discussed it last time. I figured out what bolts there were, didn't I? And I've already forgotten. We're going with platinum. There's a platinum bolt up there, some, and I don't, I don't remember how to get it. I really don't remember how to get it. So I am like super tired <laughs> and ill. So if there's weird jump cuts, it's probably because I'm editing around dying. Just put it out there. Look, it's my babies. Oh, it's Clank's babies, but still. They're my babies. Kill the babies, kill. How do I not? How do I get to that bolt then? Hmm. I'll figure it out later. Let's kill these things. Oh! Wait, how? This is what I don't get. This is inside Clank, and these guys have shrunk themselves to invade Clank. I get that. But how are they spawning? Because it's clearly, if you look at the design of these, they look like little teleport chambers or little, like, storage chambers. So how are these guys spawning slash in the storage chamber? Did they all just sneak in and they went, hee hee hee, we'll hide here in case his friend comes. It's like, they didn't know Ratchet was going to come inside. They didn't know Ratchet had a... I don't, where's my... Why can't, I can't shoot my weapon, look. The white, yeah, the white thing had disappeared. <laughs> you didn't know Ratchet was, had drinky small technology to chase after them. Why are they hiding? It's a video game biscuit. You got it. <laughs> you remember that. So I didn't notice until recently. And by notice, I mean when I was researching the bolts. Like last time. These, the nuts and bolts you pick up, there's actually different types and they have different monetary value. So there's like certain different types of bolts and nut shapes and then there's springs in this one as well. And this is the last game to have springs in. They remove springs in future ones. But they also have different colours. I didn't even notice that either. There's like, well I know it's like the different glows that are on them, but I didn't think that meant anything. Like, this game is so much more detailed than I realised. Do I just not have like a quick kill gun? Where's my like super weapon that lets me, <laughs> lets me kill the enemies quickly? That's what I need. Yeah, I think it might be this. Let's, let's kill those guys quite quick, so it should be alright. Hey, upgrade! You know what would be great is if when you upgraded the weapons they had their ammo restored. <laughs> That would be wonderful. Like, restore my ammo if you're gonna burn as well. I'm just trying. I'm just now. Nah, I'm not focusing on upgrading the weapons now. I just want to get through this level. <laughs> I died one time, and my brain's just gone. Nope, just get through it. Just get through it. And I really love these guys. Die already! You cheesy boys! They're cheesy boys. They like the beastie boys, but not as good. I like those two were just talking. Like they're old friends. And stand there with a little gab. Saying, oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, we're getting attacked. It's, it's his best friend. He's coming it's inside the body. He's shooting us all to death. 
No, I mind the, uh, the river of electricity as well. Be careful around that. You don't want to get shocked. Although, I wonder if their weapons would have like a sort of um, grounding rod sort of situation. So if it shoots lightning out and the whole thing is they shoot electricity, would it protect them from other electric things? I need some goddamn ammo. I was really worried I was about to hit on the um, lightning there. Oh! Can you just die already, you annoying bastards? Thank you. I think this is a checkpoint as well, this bit. Yeah. Ooh! We've got a sub cannon, a sniper mine, the magnum egg, and a static barrier. Oh, I want the static barrier. It creates like a shield around you, it's great. <laughs> Extra line of defense. And I could have babies, bees, and then a protective barrier. What? Oh, fuck. It's fine. It's fine. We got the checkpoint, right? Yeah, yeah, we got the checkpoint. That's all good. It's all good. I wasn't massively annoyed. How are they suddenly so much easier? <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. And then next time I face him, oh, quick and easy kills. What the? How are you suddenly so easy? What? What malarkey is that? No, 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 I want to... I want to be up. Thank you. I don't remember the clank level being too long. Like this. Oh! Don't fall down the hole this time, Bisc. Oh, this is gonna make me like fly up or something. That's cool. That is actually really cool. I kinda wish I did more stuff like this in this game. I think it's just here, but just image a whole section where you have to be like flying through like this. Maybe you get some form of like wrist weapon or something. I think there are sections like that in the other game, so it's like because there's like tank wings as well as the heli head. Although I don't know many people. Like I don't. I've not seen many people who ever use anything apart from clanks. Look up the head. Because you could swap. Like you change the modes. But the wing hover glide mode is shit compared to the helicopter head. Oh my god. You're meant to be the small, basic, chicky dude. Why are you taking so many shots? That was a ridiculous amount of shots for the weakest enemy in this area. I mean, yes, again, I've not visited Slim, so... This really, we haven't even got rocket boots in this one. What's that about? Not got my, like, it's too far double tap R1 rocket boots. Oh, but... But Jeebus in here. Mary, Joseph and... J I don't know. <laughs> it would probably help if the babies didn't miss all the time either. Come on, babies. Do I have enough for my... No. <gasps> I do! Yeah, look at that! Look how great that is. Let me just... Let me just add that to our wheel real quick. Not a gadget, is it? There we go. And now, we're protected! 
I think later ones as well, when you upgrade it, it starts attacking the enemy. Well, I think it shoots out lightning and stuff, if they stand too close. I could be wrong. You know what enemy will do. He'll pop it up. He'll make you informed. Sorry if I don't seem like I have the same amount of energy as I normally do. Yeah, sometimes it's more chill, relaxed, like... Oh, let's, let's take this calmly and think it through. Oh god, how many of these guys do I have to kill? Jeez! Oh, I like that it gets like a wobbly effect when it's getting closer to running out. That's cool. Alright, is that all of it now? Oh, fuck. It's a bit long. His enemies took a ridiculous amount of ammo and time to kill. <laughs> I could actually do a sideways jump and over. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Learning new things every day in old classic games. <laughs> I still can't believe. I, I love that they brought these back. Um, impacted. Because the main Rack and Clank team removed them after two because they thought, oh, it's, it'd been overplayed and overdone. And the grind sections in Ratchet Clank are classic and amazing and they should be in every game. Because it's just so satisfying to do. You leave my buddy alone! That's his brain that you're breaking there. Hey babes! Look what you've done! He's sending out weird pulses of death now because you've messed with his brain so much. How dare you! I have forgotten why they jumped into Clank. Isn't it because he has like coordinates to their base or something? Or their cloning facility? I genuinely cannot remember. Pick up pieces of the heart with the polarizer to repair Clank. Oh, it's his heart. Clank's heart. Like, I have to do some weird, like, puzzle. <laughs> this has never been in a Ratchet and Clank game before. <laughs> Let's pick up the pieces and do a puzzle while we're getting attacked by horses. I guess that's his heartbeat. Which is a cool detail, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think I appreciated it as much when I was a kid like this, because you just don't appreciate the level of detail. It goes into a game. Great work. No, stand back, son. You better get out of here before the automatic virus detection program comes online and hunts you down. But uh, head for the mouth, if I were you. And now we have to rush out before we get destroyed by Clang's own defenses. Oh, I think they're, 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 there's Clank spots. Look at them trying to get me, naughty Clank, in your defense spots. Ah! Oh, thank God for the shield. There was a giant laser I just walked into. <laughs> I genuinely thought Clank spots would look more like the babies because they look a lot like Clank. They do uh, baby Clanks, dwarf, more than these floating orange dudes. Although the floating orange dudes ain't that big of a threat. Now they're going to be, because I need to use the polarizer. Oh no, they seem to stuck. <laughs> they seem to suck at dodging their own bloody um, traps. Oh no, crate! Oh yeah, cool, I can go back. <laughs> this get prolongs the episode by needing to get the crate. Hey, I'm a little money goblin. We all know this. 
I was saddened when I had to spend money on bloody Resident Evil. Why do I feel like there's a bolt over here? Okay, let's knock. It, just, it looked like you could go down. Like walk down to it would be like a wall I can walk on. I was like, that'd be a perfect place to hide a bolt. But maybe the only bolt in here is the one we've already seen, which again, I do not remember how to get to. I think I remember struggling with that as a kid as well. A specific bolt. Yeah, it ain't too bad. I can just whack them up. My weapon doesn't get upgraded, but now I can get the polarizer out. Yeah, it makes sense. Look at them stompy stompies. It's so silly. Stomp, 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 stomp. Just like neck crouch he does. Come on, wretched. Stompy, stompy, stomp. Uh, again, yeah, I do not know what I'm talking about either. The, the, the distance of that was not made clear to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, is there a wall? No. Okay, cool. Just got to check. Always check behind you. Gaming 101. Oh, God, I was close enough to get hurt by that. Maybe my depth, per depth perception is going. <laughs> I'm getting so old. I can't see distances anymore. All right. I'm going to hope this is all. Oh, yep. Cool. That's one thing you gotta learn in Ratchet and Clank, is that they make that a gadget that you can equip, but it does automatically just come out when you jump off the edge. So you don't you don't wanna waste uh, one of your spaces. Can I cheat this? I can cheat this. <laughs> okay, that's so cool you can cheat it. Oh I broke one of these chips off the wall, that can't be good. Cheating the system do do <laughs> do 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 I think breaking parts of Clank is good, Ratchet. <laughs> we need to do that less. He's our, he's our buddy after all. <gasps> oh, he's our swingy, swingy section. That's cool. We're not done swinging in a while, have we? Oh, look at that. I skipped on. <laughs> We're gamer right there. I joke, of course. Bring me closer, tiny dancer. Yeah, at least we get me shield out, get some XP on that. Even if I'm just using me old uh, wrench. What was the trend of old PlayStation 2 games and giving you exploding crates that look like your regular crates? You had to be super careful about when you land in an attack. Was the, oh, I say that. It was mainly just this and Crash Bandicoot. Like two examples. What was with the this? Just two. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for some dudes to come out. Oh god, this one looks a bit complicated. Let's look onto that one, baby! Oh no, I've killed myself. Oh no, I didn't. Ha! Apparently, if it's like, as long as it doesn't hit Ratchet, I'm good. Ah! I just cheesed most of that section too. Can I get the further one? No, I can't. Damn it. Oh, I did. Got hurt still. Maybe I did mess up. Oh well. We made it across. I got armor. Who cares if I got hurt a little bit? Who cares? It's all good. What armor is this anyway? Is this the oh mega bomb body armor? Hey, that ten times faster. <laughs> I want to keep the glowing boots so bad. Like all the other armor says, we keep the. Why is he suddenly naked? It was not naked, but like stripped down.
You got short-circuited when you interface with Luna. Hmm. She must have had a level 9 access protocol installed, which activates retroactively oh, when I... Oh, of course she did. Right before you conked out, you said you found the clone factory coordinates. Accessing? Yes, I do have them. I cannot believe I was stupid enough to make such a simple mistake. It happens to the best of us, pal. The important thing is, you got the coordinates. I suppose you are right. We should get going. I hate something that's also a little bit weird. Listen, what the fuck's that in the distance? Whoa, whoa. Did we all see that? We all saw that, right? <laughs> what do you think? Ten air clank, you jump into Luna. Oh, didn't it? There was a thing in the background. I, I'm not going insane. Where are we going to next, eh, gang? That place. So next time, I'll be going to that place. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed that episode, if you did please go down below and check me out elsewhere. Also a big thanks to the Biscuit Brown official friends, that is Jasper, Ars, Kitten and Kibby, they are all awesome and amazing, please go check them out too. Last but not least, big thank you to everyone who has supported me over on the Kofi slash coffee, because I say it wrong. <laughs>